Video number three, Memantine, potential indications in children and adolescents. Glutamate modulators are a very exciting area of research and potential therapeutics. Glutamate is, as we know, the primary excitatory neurotransmitter in the brain. The concentration and dynamics of extracellular glutamate are tightly regulated, and it's important that synaptically released glutamate is rapidly and efficiently cleared from the extrasynaptic space. Excess glutamate and especially hyperstimulation of the MDA receptor and consequent excessive calcium influx can lead to neuronal damage and atrophy, what we call excitotoxicity, and you see that in various types of pathological seizures and epilepsy. Glutamatergic dysregulation has been investigated in multiple studies with the role of the glutamatergic system implicated in a variety of psychiatric conditions. So let's look at the mechanism of action of memantine. It's an N-methyl diaspartate, NMDA receptor antagonist, that acts as a non-competitive open channel blocker and blocks the receptor channel when it is excessively open. As such, memantine is believed to protect against glutamatergic excitotoxicity. There are some indications that memantine may have a beneficial effect for the treatment of autism, OCD, and mood disorders. That being said, studies of memantine in child and adolescent psychiatry have been very limited and more rigorous clinical trials are needed to confirm this. Potential indications, autism spectrum disorder. Glutamatergic dysfunction has been implicated in autism spectrum disorders and has led to several studies on the use of memantine for the treatment of autism. Evidence from several OLTs and retrospective studies suggest that memantine may improve social interaction, language function, and memory, as well as behavioral symptoms such as hyperactivity, lethargy, irritability, and stereotypic behavior in children with autism spectrum disorders. And that's significant because many of the standard medicines, the atypical antipsychotics such as risperidone and others, can help with symptoms associated with autism spectrum disorders, but not often the social interaction, language function, core symptoms of autism. Overall data from pediatric studies have shown that memantine is very safe, it's very well tolerated, with potential clinical benefits in children with ASD. Current findings, though, are based primarily on case series, OLTs, and a few randomized controlled trials, so additional trials are clearly needed. Obsessive-compulsive disorder. This is another exciting area where this is being used fairly routinely in OCD clinics across the country. Dysregulation of glutamate levels have been noted in the brains of patients with OCD, but there currently are no trials investigating memantine in pediatric OCD. A case report of a 15-year-old female with chronic severe OCD resistant to several trials of different SSRIs reported significant improvement when memantine was added to a previously ineffective citalopram regimen. So the bottom line here is that memantine is not a standalone agent. It's not going to replace the standard treatments for OCD, but in cases where there isn't sufficient improvement or there's no improvement at all, memantine can be very helpful and get clinically meaningful improvement. Further randomized controlled trials are needed before memantine use can be recommended fully in pediatric populations. That being said, given the severity of obsessive compulsive disorder in our clinic, we often use memantine as an adjunctive treatment. It doesn't typically have an oh wow effect, although sometimes it does in non responders, but it does yield significant additional improvement. And any improvement that we can get, particularly with a compound that has this nice safety profile, is definitely a huge advantage. 
I will say that because of its safety profile, we don't limit ourselves to using memantine in treatment-resistant refractory extreme OCD patients. A good example would be a patient who's achieved some benefit from their SSRI, but not enough, and are still symptomatic, but the parent or patients, they are reluctant to try a new SSRI or medicine to attempt to get full remission of symptoms, in part because they don't want to give up the gains they've made. They realize it's not enough, but they want more. And in those cases, given the safety and potential for some augmentation benefit, we will add memantine. That being said, I do want to remind people that the studies in children are lacking and more investigation is clearly needed. What about indications in major depressive disorder? There is, in fact, growing evidence that disturbances in glutamate function are critically involved in the pathophysiology of major depressive disorders. And results from two randomized controlled studies, an open-label study, and several case reports on the use of memantine for depression therapy for adults have produced contradictory findings. Neither of the studies which observed positive effects from memantine treatment included a control group. So memantine's usefulness in depression remains elusive and inconclusive. Additionally, no trials at all have been conducted with memantine treatment for depression in children and adolescents. Bipolar disorder. Several OLTs suggest memantine may improve manic symptoms and produce a sustained, rather than a transient, mood-stabilizing effect when added as an augmentation therapy for adults with or without treatment-resistant bipolar disorder. So while memantine has demonstrated positive effect as an augmentation therapy for adults with bipolar disorder, there are no studies in children or adolescents with bipolar disorder. In conclusion, based on the available research, there are indications that memantine may have a key signal and beneficial effect for the treatment of autism, OCD, and mood disorders, particularly bipolar disorder in children and adolescents. However, the data remains limited and memantine augmentation should be used in cases that are refractory to other treatments. The key take-home points here are that glutamatergic dysregulation has been investigated in multiple studies with the role of the glutamatergic system implicated in many psychiatric conditions, and that there are indications that memantine, an NMDA receptor antagonist, may have a beneficial effect for the treatment of autism, OCD, and mood disorders. That being said, studies in children have been limited, and additional trials are needed before memantine can be recommended in pediatric populations. If efficacy is demonstrated, memantine's excellent safety record and tolerability make it a highly desirable medication for use in children and adolescents.